Well, hey, it is yet another day. Um, it is what the heck. Well, sorry there. Um, a watch is being uh, a dick. Um, it's not giving me the date. Rely on that, man. Can't remember on my own. Jeez. <laughs> Come on, I have better things to remember dates. Come on, seriously. Um, but. I think it is March the, uh, oh, hey, oh, computer, what's the date today? Oh, 13th. Ooh, I'm surprised the special, uh, turned out, uh, being 13 and all. Um, today, you know, I was given the assignment to make a special, and I didn't think it was going to happen at all, man. Um, basically all the production I did by myself, um, I got a little help from Aaron. He was really nice. Uh, he peeled some potatoes for me. And then when it really came time down the service, so everyone, you know, jumped in and helped me out. And uh, I really thank him for that. Uh, I just, today, I mean, you know, I got the typical comments like, oh, yeah, you did a good job. And, you know, you really rocked it and all that. But I'm more of like, I know, I know what quality is. I, I know what people are looking for. And today, with that special, um, as far as speed went, as far as cooking technique went, um, it was pitiful. All I had to do was just heat them up put it on a sandwich. I didn't have time to make a sauce, but the dish still turned out alright anyway. Um, and also, I forgot, or, or I didn't forget, but I didn't get a lot of mushrooms like I thought it was. I mean, there's tons of shrooms today, man. People were eating shrooms left and right and tripping. <laughs> Uh, but I only got a small bowl. Forget about it. I was going to roast some mushrooms with my um, spinach and walnut salad, which was dressed in a, um, I said a honey mustard glaze, and I even got the mustard too. But for some reason, I didn't put the mustard in the dressing. <laughs> uh, maybe it was just for inspiration, a little, bit, a little bit of support. Yeah, you can make that honey dressing. So that's what I ended up making today, and dressing the um, spinach greens, and it turned out actually kind of nice. It was like what I envisioned. I envisioned some um, a real savory meal. We got your uh, thin cut fries, which were more like thin and then thick. They're um, I had to use a mandolin. I used, or I didn't have to, but with the time constraint, I thought, you know, I got to get this done. So I pulled out my parents' mandolin that I bought for them. I'm a bad boy, I know. And uh, so I made the fries. I made the fries, and um, and then like I presented it with the uh, fry basket, and it actually turned out <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Um, but it wasn't sexy, <laughs> as uh, old Chef Wong told me. Fries are sexy. Um, and so, with my understanding was that philosophy, if you're going to have something sexy, or if there's something sexy in the room, you're not going to hide it under a bushel. You're not going to, like, put put something sexy in the closet or something, unless you're going to get in trouble over that sexy. <laughs> um, you're going to show the world that sexy. You want to see that sexy. Oh, sexy ass. Not like my fries, but sexy ass. But, um, I love that philosophy. Uh, it's something sexy, put it out there. Put it out there. It's like my hair. <laughs> Not quite. It's looking kind of looking kind of bad tonight. Um. So yeah, I didn't. G I mean, I think I served about seven orders. Um, which is, I, I I actually had stuff for more, but I ran out of bread. <laughs> believe it or not. So. Um, and also plates. Plates is a big thing too. It's ridiculous. I hate it how we don't have at least 25 of each plate that we have in the kitchen. We seriously need to have that, you know, taken care of. I mean, it is a big deal. That is a problem. I mean, how are you gonna serve food when you ain't got plates? So I was scrambling for plates while doing service, and the thing that ticked me off the most was the cheese. Um, I thought there's going to be a lot of cheese floating about that I could, you know, put on my sandwiches. 
you know, there's tons of cheese in the walk-in. So I go in there, and what do you know? There's not a lot of cheese. Uh, the cheese is a pain to melt, man. Uh, what I had originally in mind was reheating the stuff in a wok. Uh, that way you get that rapid heat transfer. Um, just quick, get it out, done. And then to the left of me, to the right of me, jeez, must be late. Um, I had a flat top grill going on to where, you know, I can melt my cheese on that grill separately, lie it on the sandwich. But my wok idea didn't work out, nor did my flat top grill. Um, I was recommended instead to put the cheese in the pan. But by doing that, um, in order to melt the cheese, I would already like overcook the meat and the veg, even though it, you know it was already pre-cooked. So I was struggling there. I had I went with the lid idea, but it just wasn't steaming enough to melt that cheese. Um, and then Colin mentioned to me we used to do this at our cafe too. Um, used to put a little bit of water on the flat top grill, and then put a lid on it, and that produces that steam that you need to melt the cheese. Well. Um, it ended up like I'd used too much water, and it got to the meat, and um, made that meat not sexy, man. Made it nasty. Made it, uh, turned it into grandma. <laughs> grandma ain't sexy. I mean, well, don't get me wrong. My, my grandma, she's around 93, 94. She looks good. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, for her age and anything like that. Uh, same with another grandma. Uh, I got some sexy grandmas in my family. <laughs> so don't you mess around. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, got that word sexy stuck in my head. Um, so I guess, you know, I gotta work on cooking techniques better. Uh, I thought I had a good plan. Uh, I need to just hustle more, I guess. Hustle and cooking technique. Um, I need the more. I need to be the man, you know. I need to play. I need to play the man. I need to be the man. Should kick some ass. Uh, tell everyone who's boss. Which uh, come breakfast cookery. Um, I'm gonna have to show my ugly side a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, some, hey, maybe me being tough once in a while. That's a sexy quality I have. That's right. <laughs> They always see me as, uh, people always see me as one being bossed around. Uh, but, you know, I don't mind bossing around. Usually, I mean, see, I prefer being bossed around because the decision's already made by someone else. I don't need to make a decision. <sighs> but if I'm not being bossed around, I have to make all these decisions by myself. It's like putting on new pairs of shoes that's like two sizes bigger and trying to go on a cross-country run or something, man. You're gonna fall down a couple times. You're gonna act slow here and there, hesitant about climbing up mountains and going down hills and jumping over valleys. But I need to go into these new shoes, I guess. Take control. Take the horse by the reins. Show that girl who's boss. <laughs> whoever that girl may be. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. Tomorrow shouldn't be too bad of a day. Um, our group is we're composing a vegetarian dish. Uh, it's a spinach and Swiss cheese quesadilla with pico de gallo on top. And we're going to try to do a variation of the pico de gallo, make it sexy. So... Trying to make Chef Wong proud. Um, I'm sorry, Chef Wong, if uh, disappointing you at all. Uh, you want hardcore teacher, man. Uh, you really know your stuff, and I commend you for that. Um, I just wish I could uh, perform better, you know. Work my ass off. Ass. Haul ass. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll conclude with ass. Oh. Good night. Um, oh there. I better stop now. Get to bed. Yeah. <laughs> you have a good night.